I'm hoping to unite Africa as Nigeria. Then we're going to start doing our own colonization. Now, Nigeria starts this game off as the sixth largest country by population, but we're only the 39th strongest military power. So we obviously have a long way to go to catch places like India, Japan, Germany, China, and the US. And that's the problem, is more than likely people are going to start picking off countries from my continent. I'm Nigeria. This should be all mine. Let's get ourselves some soldiers, start recruiting immediately. 700 more tanks, 700 more rocket artillery. Now, I'm already beginning to drool by looking at some of these neighbors nearby. They are not that powerful, and I should be able to eat them relatively easily. But then again, I thought that last time in my game is Russia, and I got completely obliterated. So we really need to watch for coalitions here. Let's also not attack first. Let's wait for someone else to do it. I want to be on, like, literally everybody's radar. We're also a coastal nation, which means I can start attacking just pretty much any other coastal nation in Africa very fast. I don't want to just walk into Togo right now because they have no troops, but I'm going to wait. We've got forest fires in the Congo and a severe drought in Venezuela. I do not want to be the first to declare a war. Right now is Nigeria. We're basically an autocracy, which is fine. Not really going to mess with that. I ideally will get more troops out before we go to war. It'd be nice to have all four of these finished. Because what we got right now is fine, but it's not going to help us, you know, take over the entire world. The Europeans are going to be attacking the northern African countries first, more than likely, unless they get distracted by Russia. China and weirdly South Korea loves to start colonial empires in this game. The US will absolutely be making their way across the Atlantic, but maybe they'll get distracted by Latin America first. Unfortunately, my African heartland is not super economically powerful just yet. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of like bright yellow spots for us to take. Maybe Morocco. I mean, obviously Europe is extremely rich, but we're not gonna be able to take that anytime soon. Maybe this small spot in South Africa. Interesting war there. Montenegro is declared on Malta and Malta's already been defeated. And as Montenegro is distracted, uh, somebody else is going to come and eat them. That's Kosovo. So we have our new soldiers, a part of our division. Uh, do I want to wait a little bit longer? I don't see what any of the AIs are doing just yet. I don't see them in my continent. It's only a matter of time though. There we go. Now we're getting better. An affinity between the people of Mexico and Panama reinforces the relationship between the two countries, okay? Now this is looking better. We got 300,000 foot soldiers, some rocket dudes, 2,000 tanks. The discussion between France and Bulgaria has weakened their relationship. We do want the EU to break down somehow. Is Poland at war with Russia? Looks like they're close. Spain's declared war and Andorra. Funny enough is Nigeria. Most of the world likes me. That won't last forever though. Uh, I think Iran just took out Armenia. And Israel's already making people angry in the Middle East. Oh boy, we got Spain down here. Now what are you guys doing? Do you want some? Please come get some if you want some, Spain. Well, I will blow this troop up. At least one of them. I don't know about your whole army. Okay, yeah, so the European powers are already down here. Is this? That's Portugal. We also have the Portuguese going after Atreya. Spain gonna try to get back their only African, or one of their only African colonies, Equatorial Guinea. They are moving around my region quite a lot. Yeah, Spain's going after Guinea. What does Spain have? Okay, Spain has about the same amount of troops as I do. We could probably kick out the Europeans if we need to. Very, very likely we could do that. Okay, this is just so easy. I'm just gonna go for it because Togo literally has nothing. And the Democratic Republic of Congo have already... Why are you going after... Why? I went after... It's not even a big deal. Okay, we eliminated them very quickly. That's fine. I need another enemy. Oh, and these guys are thick too. Okay, that's a pretty big boy. Um, I wouldn't mind getting just the coastal territory and then running away. In fact, I might try that just because I'm afraid that all of the DRC's uh, neighbors are going to crush them down and they won't get anything. Spain's going after Guyana here in South America. I forgot that was even an option. I probably could get a couple of wins here in South America. Let's see if anything comes after me. They are sending something. How big is this? That is a pretty big force. I don't know if I really want to fight that. You know what? I don't want to fight that. We're going to we're gonna hold back. We're going to hold back. We're still very much in the early game. Let's just tactically retreat. It is literally only 2025. The world is definitely a little mad that I went and just stole the Togo like that. The Togo restaurant. Spain just declared war on who? Uh, these, this area, which I'm gonna, dang, Spain is actually causing a lot of issues. Don't like what I'm seeing from them right now. Our number one goal here should just be to survive. Wow, Spain has declared war on St. Lucia. Okay, when is the coalition against Spain gonna start? Like, come on, North Africa, do something. I might have to unite my territory with Togo. I think someone's probably gonna declare war on me in the process. Ooh, I just got wiped out because I did that in a dumb way. Well, that was extremely easy, and I don't think anyone has too big of a problem with it. This is Liberia now attacking Sierra Leone. We might want to jump in after whoever loses this. What is Greenland doing out? Get, get out of here, Greenland. Oh, crap. There goes Equatorial Guinea. I really kind of want to go to war with Spain just to start slowly taking their stuff. They are already at war with a couple of people. I think possibly Russia, or at least it's going to get close. Ooh, the U.S. is down here. We don't want that. Wait a second. If the U.S. is down here, they're going to probably wipe out the Congo. Can we get here? The U.S. is single-handedly going to take out the Congo's army, and then maybe I'll be able to steal this all from them. Can you not go that fast? Please, USA Army, protect me. Oh, crap. Did we just get locked out? We needed one more day to arrive there. Oh, crap. We just got locked out. And now there's no troops. The U.S. is now going after the Ivory Coast. And I think we might have to just start. I mean, we maybe just
just having a coalition start uh, on us in Africa is maybe not the worst thing, as long as they don't enter our territory. Even if more nations declare war on me, at least that'll give me more options to go after people. I mean, I'm just afraid of all the powers that are coming and eating Africa once again. This is just a rebellion, right? Okay, yes. No one still has declared war on me yet. I feel like with the next war, they probably will, like African powers, I mean. As long as I keep my army nice and strong, the Europeans should kind of stay away. I don't know, though. I'd like to take out Cameroon. Congo is still technically up for the taking, but I gotta go through like two nations to get that. I got a pretty nice looking military. I would like more tanks, but I don't think I can get any more tanks. Meanwhile, Russia's going after Central Asia. I guess I can kind of get some tanks. 30, whatever. I'll take what I can get. Maybe Namibia would be an interesting uh, jumping off point, but I wish someone else would go first. Let's watch where these American troops are going. Maybe they're attacking Cameroon. Ye nope. Okay, I thought they were. South Sudan. So Sudan has been united. Yes, yeah, Spain has pissed off a lot of the world, but not a lot of people have declared war on Spain yet. The Americans are just focused on taking back the Congo. The Congo still have troops, but I think those are peasants that have risen up. Yep, those are peasants. Spain's now declared war on Madagascar. I wonder if I want to try to get there. I bet you I could send these guys out real fast. By the time we get there, maybe Spain will have the entire army crushed. Are we even allowed to go over there? Yeah, we can. Risky. These guys might get eaten pretty badly. Ooh, Russia's down here now. Is Russia and the USA at war? Oh, they are. Everyone's at war with Russia. Okay, we need to keep in mind that. I believe I can technically take Russian lands even if I am Nigeria. We've got coastal territory. We, everything's up for the take. We're lucky the United States will collapse. That's what I really want. This is a bunch of little skirmishes happening in the African continent between the Russians and the US soldiers. Probably not looking we need to keep an eye on Russia because they could collapse. Why do you have to move through the territory? Jeez, the US has a million soldiers. Oh, bam. Perfect. Cameroon just uh, ran out of troops. I think it's Russia. Who's at war with them? I, I don't really care. Doesn't matter who's at war with them. Please get there faster. You're so slow. You're so slow. I don't know what Russia's doing over here. So we did get to Nigeria, luckily, and I believe Nigeria has, or Mad Madagascar has no troops. I'm sorry. I'm Nigeria. Alright, so the division of Madagascar is happening down here. Let's cut off Russia, please. At least make sure that we get to border uh, Car, Central African Republic. US is at war with Sri Lanka. Also, the US is once again attacking Vietnam. Don't do that. Do not do that. There we go. Okay, we're taking most things. Russia only got a little bit. Russia's down to only a quarter soldiers. They've got a lot more rocket artillery or rocket dudes. The technical term is uh, rocket troops, but rocket dudes sounds cooler. Now, if we were to go after Car, which doesn't look that bad, we could go after Central African Republic and get a little bit of the Congo eventually. Russia, just go home, bro. Why aren't you protecting your homelands anyways? Oh, we died, actually. Madagascar did kill us, so hopefully Spain just cleans up those final... Whatever, I'll take the just the part of Madagascar. There we go. There's some more tanks. Oh, wait a second. Is Russia going after? Okay, Russia's not going after car just yet. I need car. In fact, I might just do it right now. Maybe. Let's combine these troops first. Yeah, Russia is going after them. Okay, okay. We need to go. Or do we wait for them to fight? Hold on. Let's, let's wait for a second. There you go. Either kill Russian troops, which I'm cool with, or kill your troops. Oh, they pretty much got nothing. Okay, we gotta go. So from here, we can finally get to the Congo. That should be a nothing battle. Bam. Wipe them out real fast. The U.S. has declared war on Egypt. Man. Wow. This is crazy. Russia's got in a crazy situation. US is still really powerful, but they're also at war with a lot of nations. What does my army composition really need right now? More rocket troops? More rocket artillery, maybe? I'll take 60 more of those. This is, okay, and the DR still has nothing. Sorry, the Democratic Republic of Congo. The British doing? British people? No. Please, no British people in Africa. Please. Not you. Not you. Well, anything's better than the Belgians, I guess, though. I don't know who declared... What are the British doing? Go home, please. The British are just at war with Russia. I don't know if they're just trying to clean up those troops or what. I like that. You're not going to kill uh, the Madagascar troops. Oops, they're slowly taking my lands. I see how it is. Yeah, send all you guys here, unite, and then, uh, bam, let's take over all this. Now, how badly do people hate me? People don't like me, Nigeria. The U.S. has declared war on Burkina Faso, but that's okay. Well, it's not okay. Oh, I do have troops here. 50 rock. Can they take? I guess they can take stuff. Okay, we're going in. Let's take some of that. Come on, be a little bit faster. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. Take out those peasants for me, please. And rocket artillery take. Oh, it can take some troops. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's get a little bit of that. Let's get a little bit of that. Oh, don't die. Oh, don't die. Oh, we did die. Wow, that was not worth it. It's not worth it. Also, Russia's attacking Kenya. Okay, let's not take units. Let's not use rocket artillery for stuff like that anymore, I guess. Kina Faso is gone. What is happening with everything in Europe? No one's attacking or invading Russia yet. Russia is losing troops, though. They're at war with India as well. Don't tell me India's got no troops. Okay, India almost has no troops. I can't even get over there anyways, though. And who else is the U.S. at war with? The U.S. is at war with somebody over here. Isn't Rwanda pretty? Oh, Rwanda's got nothing. Rwanda's, I think, a kind of rich nation. Kind of. I mean, they got, they got some stuff. Iran is now declared war in the UK. I like to see it. India is still somehow defending their lands, just not super well. Oh, those are just peasants. Oh my goodness. Can we fight our way over to the Atlantic Ocean? Can we make a pan-ocean African empire? Is that a word? I don't think that is. Let's get these troops here, and then what What else do we need? We always use more tanks. Only recruit 3,000 soldiers right now. We want to attack Sudan. Now, Sudan had a successful
successful war against South Sudan, but that's it. Okay, good. I, I remain in Madagascar. They didn't kick me out. I like that. The U.S. is definitely going to take over Kenya. I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Who is this? Uganda. I fight Uganda, but they have a lot of tanks. Oh, are the Russians? Is somebody fighting Sudan now? There seemed to have been like a brief war there. Okay, 19,000 soldiers. Surprise, there's been no coalition against us, but that's probably because just everyone's attacking everyone at this point. India has no troops. If I eliminated successfully, can maybe send out half of my troops? Okay, we're going to send out half. Get these guys to meet up right there. All the European powers are going after my African countries that were supposed to be for me. Anything happening in South America? Just a little bit. Spain's going back after Argentina. Spain is pretty scary in this game. Where are they? They're in 11th place right now. Where I, myself, Nigeria is, you know, there were 26th. We've moved a little bit. Oh, the U.S. is going after Niger. We have to do that. Okay, they're going to, by the time we get up there, should have everyone killed. Just have you, White, right there. Wait for us. Okay, so there's just gonna be a bunch of peasants in India. Oh, the U.S. got killed. Wait, how much of you guys? Oh, these are just peasants. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, the U.S. is sending back up. Dude, don't, just let the U.S. Uh, deal with those peasants. We're gonna go this way. We've also landed in India technically. Is this gonna be enough to fight all the Indian peasants, though? There were a lot. How big are these uprisings? 60,000? How many kills are they getting at us? They are getting kills. We're just gonna try to take as much of this as possible. Maybe the AI will jump in and help us a little bit. USA, where you at, buddy? Now, we're gonna be able to border maybe Algeria with this and possibly Libya. European powers haven't done much with the uh, northern, North African Mediterranean powers just yet, though. That's an uh, interesting division. Maybe I should get a couple more soldiers. 33,000. Send them out here to the Congo. Everything is so far fine in India. Still no USA over here. Mind USA. Get in there. Go attack those troops, please. We're sharing this. Sharing is caring. Go kill them, please. What is this? 70,000? That's a lot. I don't think I want to take that on. I'm gonna let the US fight them, please. Please, USA. Kill them. I don't want to do it. Uh, I'm gonna send you guys here. You're gonna have to do it, because I'm not going to. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Might have, like, a little choke point against the US. The Venezuela and the US are now at war. The US has lost a lot of troops. They were at a million, not anymore. They're spreading themselves out pretty thin. Ooh, how is this going? These are looking, my units are getting, kind of looking smaller and smaller. The Pakistan, oh, this is Russia. Is Russia finally collapsing? They are very close. Maybe once China joins in, China's got over a million soldiers. Come on, don't let these peasants beat you. Don't do it. Now, where's the really economically powerful po uh, part of India? We're getting a little bit of it. Norway's declared war on South Korea. That's pretty random. Ah, uh, the US stole all this from me. Okay, that sucks. Maybe go after Chad. I've got a second division here. I can also send these guys to help support the Indian invasion. I think that's probably important. Let's do that. I don't know how long it's going to take. Okay, so Japan's doing their own imperialization of Africa a little bit. Okay, we're losing a lot of troops. I think I needed to do this. 100,000 peasants. This is not fun, especially without Japan's help. Can I get anything else more? Okay, there's 50,000 more soldiers rec uh, being recruited. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're getting surrounded by these. Okay, I might have to leave, honestly. I don't want to get killed that badly by these peasants. Maybe India will let me have some of this stuff. Just wait for the reinforcements before we keep on engaging. Ukraine and Belarus are attacking. Okay, now let's see. We have a little bit more reinforcements. We can maybe try to attack again. Hoping by the time Japan is done. No, Japan. Once Japan was done with the Russian-controlled Pakistan, they just kind of left it. Jeez, these are huge peasant revolts. South Korea's declared war on North Korea. Oh, that's a big one. We Nigeria now in 22nd place. Still pretty far away. Combine these divisions. So now we have 50,000 and 50 thousand together. Maybe some more gunners. Am I at war with these guys and I didn't even know it? I think I am. And Uganda's got nothing. What am I doing? Meet in Uganda. Go go kill Uganda, please. I would love to have a jumping off point. Ooh, we have Myanmar now for a little bit of protection. This is the U.S. here, but they're not sending more troops over here. How are we doing? Are we already down to under 100,000 soldiers? Again, don't mess with India's peasants. There we go. Japan's helping a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't know what we're going to do after Rwanda. We, we would have to go after Sudan in order to slowly make our way. I mean, obviously we can just continue to send troops through Africa like we've been doing, but it'd be nice if we did didn't have to do that if we could move a little bit faster. I guess I should start recruiting more soldiers because that's really the units that we're losing the most. Only 22? We don't got anything better than that? I might stop engaging in some of these fights here until more of the AI kind of comes in and helps me. Oh, is the fall of Russia finally happening? <sighs> Oh, I don't think I can get there. Oh my gosh, who is this? Wow, South Korea completely obliterated North Korea. I think I do want to just stop. Maybe just park my troops right there. They probably will li let me keep it for now. Let's make sure that we're handling Rwanda nicely. I can't really get there, can I? Maybe I can, actually. Maybe once we're done with Rwanda. Sorry, Uganda. Why do I keep confusing them? Okay, more commandos. Maybe this troop can go up to Russia if they're not dead yet. Oh, Russia still has a huge army. Uh, Turkey's just going balls deep. They don't care. Can you want to help? No? Okay, that's fine. There we go. Steal all that away from the U.S. I like that. Nice Nigerian empire so far. If I were to go in after Russia, which we don't even want to do that, but the plan, the AI would want to go all the way. Jeez, I don't want to do that. Uh, I would like to continue to keep... Oh, is South Korea finally invading India? Uh, South Korea tends to be, like I said in the very beginning, they, they, get, they get pretty powerful in this game. Maybe we'll go over here and aid them in their own attacks against the peasants. That way we can both fire at them. Only 71. Okay, we got to find a way to get them more troops. Or maybe I just send this division over. 
over. India changes the game for us with all of India's lands. That could change everything. Oh man, these peasants though. Back up a little bit. Oh man, South Korea's taking a lot. I guess I'll just start my own little division thing back here. Give him some tanks somehow. We have, okay, we can build 80 tanks. No rocket artillery, but that's okay. I mean, I'll take 10. I'll take whatever I can get. Argentina's officially been defeated by mostly the US, but I think Spain helped a little bit. All right, there we go. It's just me and South Korea trying our best. Can Japan come help out or something? There we go. Okay, we're, we're starting to take land a little bit faster now. How big is this division? It looks pretty good. Let me just, just fire on those peasants only. These peasants will hopefully fight South Korea. We do want to move our way north. We don't want South Korea to get all of this. There you go. You fight those peasants, please. Shoot them. Shoot them, please. I guess I can lose this south. I'd rather take the north. Try to cut off South Korea from getting this stuff. Yes, rocket artillery back at home. We have to make a whole new division. Whoa! What the heck? Okay, they just sent out everything. At their, they don't want us. They don't want to lose more land. They see that we're stealing a lot of this stuff from us. I think the AI is like, no, no, no. Good, good, good. Shoot, shoot them up. Shoot them up. Okay, that's nice. This is the right move, right? We want all that. We're not, we're not going to get there in time, though, I don't think. Oh, crap. Stop. Oh, maybe South Korea stopped moving. Oh, here they go again. I want that capital, baby. How big is this? Tree? Can we, we could probably just kill South Korea if we wanted. Maybe, uh, I don't want to do that, but I could think about going over there, getting some of that stuff. They're reinforcing. This feels like a race to Berlin during World War II. Okay, good, good. They're moving their troops to protect some other units. 20,000. Come on. We should be able to handle 20,000 peasants. Nice. This is what I want. I want that big piece of juicy, that juicy circle right there. Give me that juice. <laughs> There we go. Okay, good. I have Japan and South Korea helping a little bit. They don't realize they're helping, but let's go. Let's go. They, these guys actually are running home. Don't want to forget about this. Keep recruiting troops back at home. Oh, crap. Okay, Japan's now focused back on Russian-controlled Pakistan. We lose this stuff back. Okay, there are peasants, but we might just lose a little territory there. Might be the last big peasant thing before I get my circle. Did the U U.S. has declared war on Chad. Oh, boy. We're going to miss that, aren't we? I do have this division. This division's not too bad. We need more commandos, though. Which I got 55,000. Okay, let's wait as the U.S. kills them, I think. Which troops does Chad have? Okay. Okay, yeah, the U.S. should be able to handle that. Japan, please help me. Holy crap. They are not going to let this go down without a fight, without a pretty big fight. Oh, man, just get all that. Just get all that. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. Okay, here, here's some of them. They're so close to me, I can't even see. U.S. has declared war on Nigeria. Frick. Oh, frick. <laughs> no, frick. No, 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 no. You guys aren't going to be able to do crap. Oh, crap. Dang it. And look, Chad had run out of troops, too. Chad had completely run out of troops. I was going to steal all that from him. I'm, like, way behind enemy lines now. Maybe the U.S. knew I was about to take Delhi. And that's why they're like, no, 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 we can't. Let that happen. Nigeria is getting too powerful. Dang it! My beautiful Nigerian Empire it was glorious. We got to 20th, and they just wiped out my troops. And I'm back in freaking India. Thanks a lot, Japan. Even though they did help me a little bit, they were just so. Do oh my goodness! Russia ran out of troops. Holy! They. Oh my. Okay. Why is the U.S. so powerful? They're actually not super, super strong. But I had spread myself out way too thin. And thank you to the patrons. You can go to the link in the description down below to Patreon.com to support me. John, Queen Denver, Jack, Trivens, annoying I friends. I can't sleep without Drew's voice. Henrik, Frederick, Dublin, Drew, it's your dad back with the dub. Milk. Beautiful, Look, Megan, Carmel S, Amateur Archaeology, Seventy to hear this, I love you, Luxembourg lover, Tamron, and Zany Boy.